Sky TV 4 News at 5 starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. No more jail time for Tyson Dagley. He's the Australian who hit and killed 16-year-old Kristen Fonseca in a watercraft collision. The court ruling came after Fonseca's family pleaded for Dagley to receive the maximum penalty. KITV4's Moani Kiela Navarro has our top story. First of all, I'm deeply sorry. Water over time. I've never met any harm. During his sentencing, Tyson Dagley again expressed remorse for what happened at Keehi Lagoon one month ago today. Dagley's wave runner slammed into Kristen Fonseca. The California teenager died a day later. I go into her room every so often to lay in her bed, smell her pillow, hold one tightly and pretend it's her. Fonseca's mother's hands trembled as she expressed her grief, pulling out a short poem Kristen wrote as a young girl. I dream I had a cell phone. I scream when I'm afraid. I'm an eight-year-old girl. I want a motor scooter. And I wonder if I will ever have kids. Dagley was charged with third-degree negligent homicide. He spent 12 days in prison before being freed on $100,000 bail. He eventually pleaded no contest. Today, Judge Richard Perkins accepted that plea and agreed to clear Dagley's record if he stays out of trouble for a year. Perkins gave Dagley credit for time served. The 20-year-old is free to return to Australia. However, he was ordered to perform 48 hours of community service and pay Fonseca's family more than $78,000 in restitution. Payments can be made in increments of $30 a month. Even though Dagley will be overseas and could conceivably skip out on his obligations, his attorney says the Dagley family won't let that happen. They take pride, they keep their word, um, and, and they are just good salt-of-the-earth people. I pray every day, morning, morning and night, for Kristen and her family. And when it's time to explain how I feel. Tyson Dagley's girlfriend, Natasha Ryan, is charged with hindering prosecution after she tried to delete video of the watercraft accident. She's set to enter her plea this coming Friday. Reporting from Circuit Court, Moani K. Alan Navarro, KITV4 News.